Back again, back again on YouTube and welcome back to the coding workshop. And in this video, we're going to be implementing the third part of our MVC application. As we've already touched on the model that we did yesterday, we already touched on the controllers. So we're going to be implementing the third aspect of our MVC application in this video. It's going to be a very short video as we've already touched on Twig. As I've mentioned, we're using Twig as our template in engine of choice as it provides us with a lot of convenience and flexibility in how we want to lay out or present our information to the client. So without further ado, I'm going to actually get started by implementing some configuration that we are going to need for our Twig environment. So I'm going to come to my config directory like always. I'm going to create a twig.yaml file, right? So my new file, be twig.yaml, right? So within this file, I'm going to lay out all the Twig configuration that they've provided us. And then I'm going to actually bring it to the Twig website and show you what these um, configurations are. So I'm going to list them out, then add to the Twig website, then we're going to go over, then we're going to go through it together, right? So the first one is going to be debug, which is going to default to full, to fulls, yeah? To be char set, I'm going to be UTF iPhone 8, and we've got cache, which is going to be where our cache file is going to be located. So I'm going to leave that blank for now. Then we've got auto reload, which is going to be set to true. Then we've got strict variables. That's going to be false by default. Then we got auto escape, I think it's called. And that's going to be set to false. Then we got optimization. And I think that's default to negative one. Then we've got, this is not, well, I've added this next one in, but it's not part of the official, official twig configuration and it's just a template extension. And that's going to be an array. I'm gonna say dot HTML. Dot twig. And dot HTML dot twig, which is the extension that we're going to use, right? So that's the basic twig configuration and they've provided us with these options on the website so we're going to actually go across and show you what they mean what they, what they mean so back into our well back onto the twig website i'm going to go to twig for developers right and i'm going to bring you down to this section right here and this is where i define all the configuration and set the default value, and we're going to pass this entire config within our base view file that we've created a few videos ago. So it gives you all the definitions, and I'm going to actually put these definitions in, and it's going to be going to be pushed to GitHub, so you will get actual definitions within the Twig within the Twig file, so you know exactly what they're actually doing or what they mean, right? So. Just wanted to show you where I'm getting these config info from and it's not something that I'm just making up. This is Twig providing us with the configuration for our Twig environment, which we can do at our application level. All right, so that's that. You can have a read at that. Pause the video, have a look for it. But I'm going to be putting these in the YAML file so you know exactly what they mean. So I'm going to take you back to my main screen and we're going to crack on we're going to be putting this twig file within our base view so let's do that next so we'll go into our magma directory in our base directory and get our base view file because we already created this file a few videos ago and within this file within this um, environment class the second argument that we declare an empty array we go into um, pass in that entire twig file that entire twig.yaml file 
within this, within the second argument. So I'm going to say YAML config colon colon file and it's called twig. All right, that's it. Now we've got, now we've passed that entire configuration in with the default value that twig is going to look at and comply to. So let's go back to our base view and let's actually try and create some twig file within our application directory. Because if I take you back, we already created these directories, we've tested them, we're getting results. And the one that we've not done is our twig or template view files. So we're going to create a directory called templates. And within this template directory, there's going to be another two sub directory because I want to create a deep level of organization. So all of the template file that's going to be for the client is going to be in a client directory and all the template for our backend is going to be in a backend directory. So I'm going to create a new directory called client and that is within our template directory. So I'm going to open up my controller file or my controller directory and open up this home controller file. So the idea behind these organization is that I want to be able to create a directory for each controller. So we've got an home controller. I want to create a home directory within this client directory. Let's create a next directory called home. Right? And within that is where I want to actually create all of my my um, action files like for example within this home controller i've got an index action so i want to create an index file i'm going to create an index file say index dot html dot twig and i've got a twig extension downloaded in vs code so you can see we've got that twig icon to represent a twig file so that's the basic structure of how I want to lay out all of my template file. If we've got a controller, for example, home controller, we're going to have a home directory. If we've got a user controller, we're going to have a user directory, which is going to store all of those rendered template files. So let's close it up for a minute. Back into our home controller, and you can see I've left the code in that I was that was doing in the last video. So we're going to take this out and I'm going to render a twig template and pass this code in and see if we're getting the same result back, right? But before I do that, let me bring it back to the main um, core directory again, because if you've been following along, you'd have seen that we've created a render method within our base controller. If I take it up, scroll up, we've got this render method right here. And because we've got that within our base controller, we can easily reference that method within our subcontroller classes, which is going to render that actual template within that template directory, right? So back to our home, I'm going to just take that alphabet and I'm going to say this render. And I'm going to point it, the first argument to that template file that we just created which is going to be in the client directory. Because remember, we're going straight within our templates directory from our base view file. So we just need to reference the directories within that template directory. So it's going to be client home index.html.twig. And the second argument is optional, but I'm going to put an empty array for time for the time being. All right, now I'm going to load up my environment and I'm going to switch my screen again so you can see what's what's going on. And right away, you can see that we've got an error. So when we've been coding this framework, it's been purely theoretical. You know, we've not been testing. So I am expecting a couple of errors here and there. And this one looks pretty simple. It looks like I'm declaring templates twice. So let's go to our file system, which is our base view class. And Let's actually go to our application, that application class where we're defining these constants. All 
and let's remove this templates because we're calling this twice right remove that let's up let's reload the page and we're still getting an error but we're getting a different error this time and this is to do with our extension because if you remember we we're extending and implementing some twig classes and interface and there was one method that we needed to implement and if i take you back to that twig extension file you can see that we get an error and it's saying um extension does not implement method get global so let's implement that method to be a public function get globals just like that and it well we did not um create this method this is a twig method and it also has got a return type of array so we need to return an empty array for the time being so we're going to return an empty array and you can see right away it's clear that error up, up reload and the error is gone we now got a clear page so let's try and and see what's going on in our controller file let's close this down and you can see we've got the method and let's try and put some text in that file and see what comes up um say twig template save and we're not really getting anything so why is that right so let's try something let's try echo that out and see what happens now we're getting that so it tells me that i'm rendering i am returning this method and not i'm not straight echoing it so i need to go and fix that so i'm going to take that off for a minute and i'm going to go back to my base view and i'm going to create another method which is going to echo out this get template so i'm going to come down here say public public function and i'm going to say call it twig twig render all right and we're going to simple echo out this method above and say echo this get template and we need to pass the arguments in so we're going to declare these arguments within this method method so it'll be a string template array context which is optional so we're going to um, set the initial to an empty array I'm going to pass these arguments within this method. It's going to be template and context. Right? So now back into our base controller, we need to make some modifications there as well. Because we're calling this render method and we're calling that get template method, which is not echoing out our template. So we're going to change the method and use the twig twig render all right so let's go back to our own controller you can see that i've taken off the echo statement let's refresh the page there you go we've still got our twig template that is coming from our twig file so let's find that file again or index index.html.twig file let's change what we got in there to something else um new file twig something generic reload new file twig let's increase this so you guys can see it a bit more right new file twig uh data data right so now we've got our model we've got our controller now we've got our presentation and that's the basic part of our application mvc now we can actually go ahead and implement other features within the framework but before i go i said i was going to try and pass that data back into the template that we had in our own controller so let's try and do that i'm going to declare it all over again and say user is going to be new user model and let's just pass an entire um argument in so user actually it needs, it needs a key first right so i'm going to say users so user that get repo 
are we going to say find one by and that takes in an argument which is going to be an array and we're going to find again I think it was Peter Parker again so we're going to find by ID and pass that 45 in I believe that's what it was right now we need to go to our twig template file and all we get data back we use the two we use double curly brackets our braces like that and pass that pass that key in which is users which is what we've defined right here is going to print this out so let's see what we get and it's going to be users let's see if we get that or get an error and you can see we're getting back an empty well we're getting back an array which means we need to parse this a little bit more but at the moment we've got a bare bone twig in so we've not got any um, functions that we've implemented that's going to help us dump this to the screen I know we've got tools that we can use but I'm going to actually go back into my own controller and I'm going to do a dump var or var dump I should say unless that stays the same let's reload again and you can see we're getting that data back through our template now all that data we're going to be getting back but again this is probably not readable we're going to be fixing that up with some actual data table and that's one of the components that we're going to be building in our next video we're going to be building a data table that we can use to display this data accordingly so that's a short video for this guys i was wanting to bring that third element in within our mvc and we not we now got our model or controller and we got our tweak files so that's going to be the video that's going to be the end of the video guys so thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next video coming up very shortly thanks and bye